if you're in a child custody fight in Texas, should you ask the judge to talk to your child about who they want to live with? My name is Laura Hurd, and I am a family law attorney in San Antonio, Texas, and I've been practicing since 1987. So I have had this situation come up many times. You know, in Texas, the law says if the child has reached a certain age and there is a proper motion filed, that the judge must have that conversation with the child to find out what the child wants regarding who the managing conservator should be or which parent they should live with. Now, that is mandatory. The judge has no choice if you file the proper motion. But my question is, should you file the motion? Should you ask for it? And the answer may surprise you. Of course, you should always talk to your attorney about your specific situation and the facts of your case. But in most cases, I tell my clients, no, it's not a good idea. And here's why. In most cases, you will end up looking like the bad guy, the bad parent, because you want the judge to talk to your child. In most cases, it doesn't help you. That child does not say what you think they're going to say when they get to talk to the judge. Now, in Texas, they do not put the child up on the witness stand in open court and have people ask questions like a witness where everybody can hear what the child is saying. The procedure is that when the child is going to talk to the judge, the judge will take the child back into chambers, back to the judge's office or a conference room with court reporter. There'll be another neutral third party there with the judge, but there won't be any attorneys or parties present in the room. And you will never know exactly what the child said to the judge because it will be confidential. It will be said to the judge, and the judge will not tell you afterwards exactly what the child said. The judge comes back and says, you've got a very brilliant child. You've got a very articulate child. I really enjoyed talking to your child, and your child loves both parents. And I am going to rule such and such. They don't tell you what the child said. Keep in mind, the judge does not have to do what the child wants. And that's a common misconception. I have parents all the time tell me, surely when the judge hears what my child wants, the judge wouldn't make my child do something they don't want to do. The answer is, yeah, sometimes they do. Because the judge is looking out for the best interest of the child. The judge is listening carefully to what the child's reasons are. Sometimes if the judge feels like one parent is alienating the child from the other parent, the judge is going to lean towards making that child have a relationship with the parent that they don't know very well. Also, keep in mind that you don't know exactly what your child's going to say to the judge. A lot of times children are telling the parent what they want, they know the parent wants to hear. So when they're with one parent, they're telling them one thing. When they're with the other parent, they're telling them something else. And when they get in front of the judge, they'll tell the judge they don't want to decide. They may have told you, yes, I'm going to tell the judge I want to live with you. But when they get in there to talk to the judge, they tell the judge, I love both of my parents. I don't like being in the middle of this. I don't want to make that decision. I want somebody else to decide. What I really want is for my parents to get back together and things to go back to the way they used to be. So a lot of times, once they've talked to the judge, the judge will soften up the situation and get them to say or to admit they love both of their parents. It wouldn't be the end of the world if they had to go live with the other parent. Here's an exception. If the child is at least 16 years of age, then I say if you've got a child who can express a legitimate reason for why they want to live with one parent and not the other one, and they are at least 16 years of age, I think it's a good idea to go ahead and let that teenager talk to the judge. But anything younger than that, even though the law provides that the judge has to talk to them, I would not recommend it because judges hate it. You could tell because they put it off and put it off. I have never seen a judge 
listen to the child's wishes in a temporary orders hearing. You can have a number of hearings before you get to final trial. But the judge will put it off and say, I'll do that at final trial. They're hoping that you'll settle the case before the case is finalized and they won't ever even have to do it. And if you get to trial, they'll say, I'm going to do it at the end. They want to hear all the evidence, all the testimony from everybody else. At the very end, then they'll talk to the child. Because again, they're hoping somewhere along the line in a break or somewhere in the hallway, y'all will decide to just go ahead and settle this thing. And the judge will never have to have that conversation with the child. Now, even though I've already said you don't know what the child is going to say, you can't control what the child says either. If you coach your child, if you rehearse it, if you try to get the child to tell you exactly what they're going to say and then kind of, you know, massage what they said and, and get them to repeat it so, you know, they said it in the best way possible, the judge will pick up on it. The judge can tell when it's not the child's words that they're coming out. It's the parent's words coming through the child. And judges don't like that at all. They do not want you coaching your child. And if they suspect that you coached your child, they will not like that at all. So a lot of times they don't like you for filing the motion. They don't like you if they feel like you coached your child. A lot of times, even though you think the child's going to say they picked you, they're not going to say that when they get back there in chambers. And so a lot of times it backfires and it actually works against you and makes you look bad because you asked for your child to be put in the middle of this and for your child to have to make that choice. So keep that in mind and you know, talk to your attorney about it if you feel that the child is in your favor. But I would not recommend it. On the other hand, if the other side asks for it and it's mandatory and you know it's going to happen because the other side asked for it, again, don't try to influence your child on what they say. Just tell the child to tell the truth and you love them no matter what they say and you'll accept whatever they tell the judge and you you're not going to punish the child or be upset or hurt if the child says something differently than what you expect the child to say.